everyone. I'm Jenny um, and we're doing a craft room tour today. Um, I'm going to bring you into my tiny little craft room. It's very cosy and uh, not very big but there is still lots to see. So um, uh, I, I have been saying for ages that I want to do a craft room tour and uh, so yeah I think um, today is the day so let's just um, get on with it shall we and um, hopefully because uh, I'm doing this on my phone so um, and rather than holding my phone and trying to show you things because uh, a lot of things I need to use two hands to open so I'm going to be um, using my phone stand to uh, and I'll maneuver it around the room but hopefully with some careful editing we can uh, you know make it come off not too bad all right so let's get going okay so I'm at my doorway um, and uh, uh, yeah um, it's not going to take much I'll do a quick span of my room from my doorway just so you can see just how small it is so we're going around And in that little nook, you'll see that in a minute. And then we're back out to my door. So it's very, very small. So over here at this uh, chest of drawers, on the top of my drawers, I have got um, uh, a lot of, it's all trims pretty much. So in, I've got a collection of sewing baskets around my room, so you'll see a You'll see them all sort of come out. Um, in this one, I have got all my braids. I'll come over to the camera so you can see. Um, a lot of these are uh, vintage. Like um, This one here is a vintage one. And so is this cute little one. Um, I had collected these over the years uh, when I was doing adult clothing I was going to do some children's clothing as well so we've got all different sorts of uh, vintage and retro in there um, got a nice big batch in here uh, yes yeah, so th there's there's a nice variety in there which I don't use all that often. Um, in this lovely sewing basket, this is, uh, I got this from my sister-in-law a long time ago. It's a beautiful old, um, I would say pre-50s um, and it's handmade and in it I have got a lot of um, uh, just braid and, and other trims. A lot of it is like furnishing type trims. Um, I've got some, a friend of mine gave me this. This is not old. I've got some beautiful bits of bark cloth hiding in here, which is not supposed to be in here, but uh, I'll rehome that. Um, yeah, so I've got quite a bit in there. Oh, look, little treasures I've, I've uh, sort of stashed away. This is pretty much more of a stash box than anything else. But I just love this old sewing basket. It's one of my treasures. And in this basket next to it... I've got a load of um, uh, mostly vintage lace. 
so a lot of it is still on the original card like this this is beautiful old French lace and I've got a two or three of those cards and um, there's, a, there's a couple in here that aren't vintage but 99% uh, is so I this one here is one of my favorites if I can get it out still doing things one-handed here so I love I love that I actually gave some to a friend not long ago in some happy mail um, yes yeah, so I've got a variety of beautiful old laces in this basket <coughs> And then I've got a, a box that I've made up, which has got um, furnishing trims in it also. This one's a nice retro one. And um, just, some, just some other more modern ones. Um, bits of lace that's not supposed to be in there. Might just pop that up there for now. Uh, Oh, and some more. See, all this is not meant to be in there. So we'll just pop that there, and I'll pop it away later. Oh, see, and oh, look at that. All these things that I have stashed that I forget about. I forget that I've got them. So we'll leave that out as well, because that needs to be rehomed. I bought this beaded trim a long long time ago because I was going to make uh, some vintage inspired wedding dresses and um, hair accessories I did do hair accessories but not the wedding dresses so I have also got on, on here some uh, beautiful old tins I do have loads of tins um, and in the tins I've got zippers right, I'll pop those away later the next one is this wardrobe that I've got, which you would have seen as I stood at the doorway. Um, up the top in the square box or oh, rectangular box, I've got patterns, and I'm not sure what's in the other box. Uh, that little sewing box is empty. Um, this is where I keep all my on the coat hanger. I keep all my um, master boards. And um, papers, large papers that I've painted. Uh, so I find that clipping them onto one of these coat hangers is the, is the best the best option to keep them straight and all in one place. So okay, so in the wardrobe or cupboard, I'll just open it. <sighs> it's a hodgepodge at the moment. So on the top shelf, I've got um, uh, Etsy stock and I've got some uh, works in progress. Um, I've also got a big stash of velvet fabric on the second shelf. And then the third shelf, I've got a stash of paper and... In here I have some beautiful, I've got some, um, well that's not, that's not vintage but it certainly does look lovely. Um, and yeah, I've got some vintage fabric. Um, I've got Japanese silk. Um, and... Just, they're just some oddment pieces. They're just, yeah, very oddment. And I've got some like tapestry type fabric. Uh, some more vintage fabric. And I bought that fabric recently from Spotlight. So that's not vintage. I'll just move all that back. Okay. And... On the next shelf, I've got um, packaging and uh, just some bits and pieces that I didn't have a home for. And the same for the bottom shelf. Uh, 
The next thing we're coming to is my desk. And um, as you can see, it's quite a long desk, but it's not very deep. Uh, which is why on some of my video, or a lot of my videos, I tend to um, come out of the screen, like my work drifts out of the screen. I'm really sorry, but my desk does get very cluttered. So at this end, I've got um, just a stash of things that I use on a regular basis. Uh, you know, staplers, hole punches, all that sort of stuff. I've got some cute little um, glass containers here with bits and pieces in. Um, this one's got my my um, paper clips in, and this one's got uh, some oh, just some other bits. And then next to it, I've got my glue, and uh, I put my uh, vintage photo there because I use that on a regular basis. I keep all my little bits of paper because you never know when you're going to need a small piece. Keep all them handy. And my pot for my scissors and bits. I've got another um, tray of paper and uh, ephemera bits in there. And then in here I've got, uh, I've got fabric ruffles and paper ruffles. And then this is just all the uh, ephemera and bits that I'm working on for my ballet journal. And you can see it, that's the page that I worked on on the last video. So in the drawers, I just keep, in the top one here is just my... It's a conglomeration of all sorts of stationary bits. Um, the other two drawers are for um, my painting stuff. My, um, oh no, this one's got all my gemstones. Oh, see, I don't even know what's in my own drawers. I've got um, dies and um, gemstones and business cards and um, all sorts in there and the bottom one is some of my postcard kits that I post I've got ready for posting and sticker kits and stuff like that this one here has got Painting uh, prints. I've got all my prints in. This is for all my art because I do do art as well. So that's where all my prints live. And in the next one, I have this is a drawer of like, as you can see, bits of lace that I use when I'm creating ephemera. And then I have a tray of end pages and um, that sort of thing. I keep all my end pages. And in the next one, I've got... Um, there is uh, Brad's uh, string. Um, there is uh, um, washi tape. That's got my, this has got my, um, um, you know, for my signatures, stitching my signatures in. I've got my bulb pins and some nameplate frames. And the next one down has got uh, more postcards. And this is where I'm housing my... Uh, Music books. Oh, sorry, I'm a loss for words. And I've got uh, paper in the back for the printer. Um, one of my paper cutters, which is one of those fancy ones. And um, okay, so now I'm going to have to put you back on the stand. So hang on a sec. Okay, so 
Um, here I've got uh, 8x8 8x8 paper pads. In this one I've got um, just all different types of ephemera that I've bought online. It's all paper stock. Um, I've bought it online because I was finding it really hard sourcing it anywhere else. And uh, this one is all my 6x6 paper pads. I've got a, a variety of, of colourways and patterns and all sorts in there. Um, this one, uh, I'll have to bring it over to you. This is a basket of lace that I've got that I did have it up online in a group I was in because I was um, sorting through it. But this, uh, this lace, which I'm not going to go through it now to show you, but yeah, it's just jam-packed full of lace appliques. Uh, mainly mainly appliques um, all sorts like um, like this is one applique plus I've got uh, hand dyed pieces of appliques in here I've got a strand of these lovely little flowers um, but yeah it's it's all appliques all lace Um, plus behind here, I've got a stash of um, laces that I've bought online. These ones look like lovely vintage ones, uh, but but they're they're new. I've, I bought these on eBay. So if anyone wants a link for those, comment below and. Uh, I will try and find the link. Um, it will probably take me ages to do it, so I probably won't do it before I upload the video. If you want a link, comment, and I will give you the link. So I did buy a few of those. Then next to that little basket, I've got another basket full of I love I love these retro baskets by the way. <laughs> Anything retro, you know, like I I love it and I, I use it. I've got a little container of um butterfly appliques that I've hand dyed. Um I just recently got delivered 25 beaded pieces from Saris. And then the rest of it is is um like organza flowers and bits and pieces. Um, yeah, mainly organza flowers in there. Now, over here, I've got. I'll see if I can move you closer. Hang on, I'll just let me. Just bear with me for a sec. Sorry about the jumping around, but we'll see if we can get this a bit better. Okay. No. There we are. All right, so now you're a little bit closer. So over here, I have got stacks of tins. You'll see that I have got lots of tins. I love tins. And sewing baskets and you know any anything retro and antique is really good for me um, so that's just a big container of jigsaw puzzle pieces and in this tin this button tin I've got loads of button tins you'll see them in a minute but this particular one usually is the one that I bring to the desk because it's got bits of everything in there, all different colours and different sizes um, and they're all retro. 90, 96 to 8, 98% of my buttons are vintage and antique. Uh, that's from like 20 years of collecting. 
Um, this tin is what is in here. Um, crocheted edges, which I was going to put on clothing and uh, never got around to it. Maybe one day I will. Uh, some I might use on, on journals, but uh, that's, that's basically what's in there is crocheted edging. is all my braid so some some is vintage this is probably half and half these these you can get on eBay or Etsy I've seen them on Etsy um, this this is gorgeous this is a, it's a roll of um, embroidered braid type trim which I just adore and I've stashed for about 10, 12 years. So. Things that I find really hard to get a hold of, I, I do stash them and I don't tend to use them too quickly. Okay, so in this shelf, I've got containers of um, things that I can use to create ephemera with. Uh, it's all sorted into um, takeaway containers. Uh, I've also got a container of um, various bits and pieces like uh, journal cards that I've bought brand new, uh, packs of, of them. That I've bought new and um, other bits and pieces similar to that are all in there. Um, I've got other ephemera that I've bought online. And then over here I've got more tins. Uh, this is the tin of stamps that I bought. It was in a thrift haul uh, video that I did not long ago. Um, this gorgeous old box has got some treasures in. Um, some of which I recently gave away. I got, I've had them for about eight years now. They were given to me. They're from the 60s. And in this tin I've got bridal kits. Uh, more than, around 10 years ago or so, I was doing when I was doing the um, repurposed clothing I did branch off a little bit uh, to bridal wear and I was making hair combs and so I bought a lot of these packets of gorgeous um, um, pieces that I could use for the bridal combs and uh, lots I don't even know what the seller's name is now I can't remember but there is a, a stash of those and some velvet ribbon in there um, and in here oh, you can get it open is lace collars box here is jam-packed full of playing cards of all different kinds mainly canasta cards they're all vintage and retro and um, uh, I do slip one into most of my journal or a couple into most of my journals um, I've got a bit this is new ephemera that I've got I think this is uh, Tim Holtz ephemera actually and uh, this is Tim Holtz um, um, I think it's actually a mixture of all sorts. It's more botanical. And 
just a container of die cut frames, uh, some more puzzle pieces. So that's what's in there. In here I've got, it's packed full of crocheted doilies and crocheted tablecloth pieces, uh, some of which I've hand dyed. Um, and up there is, is the same. Uh, in this one is all embroidered doilies and uh, yeah, I think all embroidered doilies. Um, okay, so over here we've got a tin's empty. Um, I've got this gorgeous vintage sewing box, or retro more so, isn't it gorgeous? And that's full of all my wool. gorgeous tins. That one's full of rick rack. Um, something in here. Uh, uh, this is all uh, small pieces, narrow pieces of material that I've used for um, my ruffles, my, when I make my silk ruffles, and that's so I've got a tin for that now. And this tin, is full of vintage and retro sewing notions. this labelled but it's uh, kind of not happened it's the labels have come off um, I've got a few books up here that I'm I will use them for something I've got uh, patterned or printed um, uh, rice paper and this gorgeous box which I bought in Melbourne at a market is full of flower bits and pieces um, mainly you know flowers that you get in any cheap shop but I also do have some gorgeous velvet flowers that I pull apart very top I've got containers of zips and another sewing box um, okay so I need to move you again <laughs> okay so the next one is we're going to look at this uh, book case here let me see <sighs> that's not going to work hang on a second Okay, so we're going to do this bookcase and hopefully we can get most of it in. All right, so um, on this bookcase down the bottom here, I've got right down on the bottom shelf, I've got a big tub full of um, collage paper again. And then I've got a huge tub full of um, die cuts that I've bought online. I've got two I've got a container full of envelopes and I've got a container full of greetings cards and then here is little drawers just full of bits and pieces just random I've got some gorgeous vintage hankies in here oh, some absolutely gorgeous ones I forgot I had all these I forget 
some gorgeous vintage foil hankies. Most of them are foil. They're not... Um, well, that one's a silky type one. Right. So, anyway, I'll use them for something eventually. Uh, oh, there it is. I knew I had it. I knew I had a big bag of embroidery ribbon. I was uh, threads. I was wondering where that was. Oh, okay. Cool. I have to leave that out so I know where that is. Um, I've got a, a few containers of dried flowers. I've got a big container here which is overflowing. The lid won't even stay on of uh, tiny lace pieces and, and little bits of fabric pieces. And then um, next to it is all my uh, stuff to make charms with. I've got like a variety of charms and, and all sorts of bits there. And then the rest of the two shelves is pretty much uh, buttons. The top shelf here is all buttons. And then there's buttons up there. And then here, I, I love these two. I love uh, it's got velvet ribbon, vintage retro velvet ribbon, and this has just got like oddments from when I do uh, really fine work beading on clothing and stuff. I've got a container here for bias binding. Uh, this little sewing box, I've got more treasures that I've forgotten about, more braids and bits and pieces. This gorgeous tin has got some velvet roses. That I use for embellishing. I tend to really only put those on... Um, the larger roses will only ever go on a cover, of course. Uh, some of them I can pull apart, some of the bunches I can pull apart and use on, just take the little flower part and put that on a journal card or a page. Uh, all right, so next to this bookcase, I've got two drawers, two sets of drawers and they've all got paper and tea dyed paper and my glue books and all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, sitting on the top of this one I've got uh, some books I've pulled apart ready for, I'm going to do a series with them but I'm not exactly sure what the series will be. Uh, I've got these two gorgeous books which I mentioned in one of my last video, I bought on eBay. They're from 1885. And annuals, got an annual. I love this one. This one's very, very, this one's quite antique. Let's see if I can hold it up, it's really heavy. So. Uh, and then next to it I've got just scrapbooking paper of various types and I'll take you off the stand now and over here in the corner next to these tubs which is actually behind my stand is a very messy corner my printer is hiding underneath it all but what's on the table is a work in progress so I yeah uh, I'm when I say I'm busy I have got lots to do and underneath I've got my um, embossing machine my Sizzix and my sewing machine and um, 
on the other side of all that, I've got this vintage basket which I bought, which was on the uh, thrift um, video with the other stuff. And I've created a bit of a filing system, um, which is just all my paper and I've like, Put name tabs on my manila folders. I've got um, all sorts of paper and pages and stuff in there. Um, and just inside the door is that chest of drawers which I've bypassed. Sorry, I forgot all about it. So we will have another look. All right, the two top drawers. Uh, all my lace, um, well, not all my lace, but a lot of my lace, um, and half, it's half and half vintage, half new, and then in the next one is more lace, but this is like what would go on clothing, like as would make up a piece of clothing. And uh, uh, Dupion silk and uh, satin, and this gorgeous. This was a dress from the sixties, a formal dress, which I've kept for that gorgeous lace, and I've cut it apart already. And I've oh look at this. Very very hard to find this sort of fabric and that's why it's stashed and hiding in the back and then I've got my organza and my orange slippers <laughs> and uh, other bits of materials that I use so Okay, I forgot that I've got this cupboard here, this little set of drawers, where I keep a lot of my junk journal stuff. Um, this is just all remnant papers and um, I keep my doilies and, you know, like paper doilies and stuff in there. And this is uh, paper kits and um, some hand-painted ones that I've done. Uh, this one is more kits. I've got a big stack of them in there. Uh, and this drawer is all my napkins. And more paper kits. And um, these are like booklets as well that have got like paper in all different sorts of paper and more kits and what's in the bottom oh just oddments that i keep um you know padded bags and stuff like that yeah so that's it that is my workspace I do have a stash of books in my carport. I've got a cupboard in my carport. So, um, and yeah. Um, and that's the tiny little window I've got. So I don't get a huge amount of light in here, which means I do need to have the light on above me. And um, like I've said in previous videos, I cannot hook up an apparatus for a ring light or for a, an apparatus for my phone. So anyway, bye for now. Uh, leave me a comment and a thumbs up and um, let me know what you thought. Uh, there's no great um, storage ideas really. I'm very much a bohemian girl. I, I like old things and I don't just like to 
have them stored on display and stuff I do like to use them and so I find a use for my tins and sewing boxes and stuff so I don't actually have any U-Butte modern storage ideas um, peaceful blessings everybody bye for now